Hello. This is going to be an impromptu kind of video of how I used to make videos a long time ago on a channel of Casey Dinner, numeral one, as a YouTube user. Um, I have no exact topic I'm going to talk about. Uh, I do have things and some general props so to guide me through what I might talk about. Yesterday I went to the Mountain Depot and got some wood for some shelving units. I also went to Ross to buy some food. Uh, you may recognize this hat that I'm wearing. It was the one that was used uh, in the Christmas party of the HOA, Homeowners Association. Um, this is uh, uh, two days before we're going to have uh, two days <laughs> before we're going to have an election again for the officers for the HOA. Now this is uh, some now this here has shut the front door and it has a power aid in it. Uh, looks kind of strange. I pour some of the blue and you know, the, they call it berry, power aid, which has vitamin B's and such. And also some of the red. And it makes it into a purple color. And sometimes I put in pears and such, whatever. I don't like drinking soda so much. Yeah. Um, because some people they say it makes you burp a lot. Anyway, uh, I have some other hats here, which is a uh, kind of an interesting thing. That this is a a brown one. Uh, I'm not sure I got this. I think I might have gotten this as a kind of a, maybe a costume hat, like being a cowboy from the Bride Aid store during Halloween. If you can see way back in there, that would be a children's trick-or-treat bag for Halloween. And I think that's where I got these two. This is a brown one, and this is a black one. So, uh, this is whatever item number. I don't have my glasses on. I very rarely use them these days. But this is what I'd use to see. Now it just says item number 100% polyester. One size fits most. That's all it says, really. I'm pretty sure that I did get these uh, from the writing store. But Anyway, uh, so I set this down and put this on. This I got a while back. I bought this at the VA. They have these hats. Anyway, I really don't need these glasses that much. Except to see things close up. So anyway, as 
they said, this is a, an impromptu video. Uh, basically, what's happening is I have an appointment this morning. And I've been keeping up, you might say, way early. Or, you might say, I have been going to bed late. And getting up early. Know what it is? I have this appointment to see my podiatrist at 11.30 in the morning. And yesterday I got up early too. Now I have this medication that I get from the VA that helps me to sleep. Ambien and then Drazidum. However, when I take those, maybe after four hours or so, I still wake up. There was a long time ago that I had read somewhere that you need at least four hours of sleep, really. And eight hours is what they usually recommend. And they were saying is you need that um, four hours for your body. And then some of it is psychological sleep, where you, during the night, work through your problems and whatever stresses you had the previous day. You see. So, in a way, I've been waking up, and I say, oh, I should still sleep, but I really can't. There's two reasons why. Because I have to get up too early to see my podiatrist in Westchester. Now, my most recent videos uh, have been about just landing at the LAX airport. Now, sometimes I try to consolidate my trips so that they will be, you know, uh, get more mileage out of the driving. However, I didn't receive the thing that I could get the discount and have enough money to have the financing to take care of my car, what it needs. Needed a head camera gasket, of which I think Toyota Central I already had replaced. But whatever, they did that anyway. They said it still needed it. I don't know which one they did on the first time at Toyota Central. That cost me a bundle too. I own my own car, but boy, you have to take care of it. What I really needed to was to have the brake fluid flushed. And so they did that. And they did an air filter or whatever and whatever else needed to be done. But anyway, getting back to my appointment for today, I have gotten up early again. And I think it's maybe okay because now I can get myself better ready together. Uh, so that I will get there on time. So maybe now I will do my high blood pressure medication. I get them to the VA2. And relax and be better and more prepared. I have these other pants. Because I'm kind of gaining weight. You may not notice it. Is. But anyway. Uh, these are my... Uh, Pajamas and such, because the time now is about 20 after 4 in the morning. But anyway, the uh, thing of going there and getting all this stuff and having to wake up early. Tuesdays is usually the day I go away from my appointments because in the rear of where I live, the streets clear on Benton Way between the hours of 
you know, uh, 12.30 p.m. and 3.30 p.m. So it's easy for me to go out from the garage area of where I live. But if I have to be there at 11.30 in the morning, a.m., it's not much of a advantage. My other appointments, let's see, two weeks ago, when it was supposed to be scheduled, let's see, I'll pull up my calendar here. Now, it was supposed to be scheduled on July the uh, 16th at 2 o'clock p.m., and that would have been better. And then they wanted me to go the following week, July the 23rd, at uh, 11.30 a.m. And so I called and I said, and I said, we have to reschedule. And when I was speaking to the receptionist, I said, noontime. She said, 11.30, and I said, can we have it any later? She said, noon? I said, yes, that would be good. And I hung up. However, she called me uh, yesterday at six minutes after five, saying that, um, just reminding you of an appointment tomorrow at 11.30. So when I call back, it says, you have any questions you want to reschedule? Well, I call, but it was after five. So she didn't go answer the phone. Now, he canceled on me the other time, on July the 16th, saying he couldn't make the appointment at two. I guess he's probably doing something else now and doesn't have that slot available. Because when I called, I said, well, I'd like to make it for the next following week at 2. And she said, he's not doing afternoons, apparently, I guess. So, uh, even then, and this today. So, this is a kind of a rambling on. Of all kinds of topics, but one of them, in a sense, is, I think it's possible for a person to have... Four hours, of, four hours of sleep, and it should be reasonably fine. Um, part of the problem sometimes is, I think I have to be in bed for an eight hours straight, and all I'm doing is kind of tossing and turning. And when the time for me to get up, I don't want to get up. So when it's the time to get up, I just get up, maybe we'll say it like that. I don't know. This is just an impromptu video. No, it's no rehearsals. So I'm just rambling on about all kinds of things. So anyway, as I said, I get this medication, Ambien, and then Trazodone, and then it makes me go to sleep. But then I still wake up. Well, I feel pretty rested. I have to do everything to prepare my feet. I'm going to change into my other type of um, clothes. I have another dark pair of pants I haven't put on because the other pair is too tight on me. I've been eating, as you notice, a lot of my videos in the past have been about stores. So I'm gaining weight, and that's good. But then, of course, will make me a little too big, and that's also not good for my back. However, I have medication for that too, and that arrived in the mail yesterday from the V. It's called Tramadol. It's, I'm supposed to take it three times a day. I have it already set for my morning coffee, which also has a high blood pressure pill that I get from the VA. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's all I have to say. Uh, this is a video, you, uh, you won't see very much of me like this, but you might see more as I'm getting into the other side. Uh, by the way, this is a Logitech High Density Webcam, a C525. That's a model number. It has this Follow Me software. Mm -hmm. I kind of like. 
And that is what I use on my other website called Casey Jenner Numeral One. So this is Casey Jenner Numeral Zero. So let's see how that goes. I'm going to upload and see what you have to say. I think I might give this a comment of uh, sleeping for four hours or whatever. Is that good or is that bad? No. Uh, I guess I'll put it on stop. Bye bye. No, be, go to Casey Jenner numeral zero on YouTube. That's how you find me. It's just he's copied to somehow or whatever. Bye.